Hi, and welcome to the very first episode of Music Scene TV, the show that brings you inside the world of independent and emerging music artists. I'm your host, Kerry Chatham, and this week we hooked up with an extraordinary group of incredibly talented musicians. They've been touring the country for a while now in preparation of their recently released CD, Good and Reckless and True. In November of 2006, the alternate routes were signed by independent label Vanguard Records, and ever since, they've been on the track to success. Their music has been featured on MTV's The Hills and on the soundtrack for National Lampoon's Van Wilder, The Rise of Taj. I found them to have a unique musical style. The group as a whole is solid and their abilities to play a multitude of instruments only compounds their talent. Our Music Scene TV cameras were able to catch up with them in a very intimate setting in their hometown of Bridgeport, Connecticut. This special acoustic performance is not their usual show, so sit back, relax, and enjoy The Alternate Roots.
had just recorded our second EP. Um, we had put up the money to go into the studio and record all the music, but we didn't have enough money to press the record, so we could... Which, the only reason we had the money was that I got some random check from the college that I had gone to for 3500 bucks, which I still have no idea what it was from. And we just, <laughs> we just used that to record an EP. And yeah. when we basically we decided that we to had this to, day you don't know what that's from. No, right? no idea. <laughs> I got a check from the college I was going to for thirty five hundred bucks because I finished early, and it was like some back pay or something. And we were just like, oh well, I guess we have enough money to record now. Yeah. So um, anyway, that's how we even did the recording. So we did the recording, but we couldn't physically press it. And uh, we had played a gig in Boston, and we had made about two hundred dollars that night. And uh, Tim and I were driving back from Boston, and Tim was driving. And I said, I'm like, you know what, if we hit up Mohegan Sun on the way home, uh, I guarantee I can turn the money into enough to press the record. And he was like, no, we can't do that, we can't do that. And I was like, no, we definitely And how can. much did you need to, to, to press that? Honestly, about $1,200. Okay, so we were about $1,200 shy, we had 200 Okay. Logic would say, just do five more gigs at $200 a pop, you're there. But we're like, no way. So I'm like, I can do it. Um, so we pull in the We didn't have five more gigs, but Yeah, we, we also did not have five more gigs. We needed to press the record to get more gigs, and there is the you know, problem with uh, being in a band. Um, so anyway, so we uh, pull off, Tim pulled off, we go into the casino, it's 4.30 in the morning. Tim says, I'm going to sleep. He did not approve of the whole venture. He goes to sleep, I go in at 4.30 in the morning. I play a little bit of blackjack, a little bit of poker. Caught a couple of good hands, and for once in my life, had the sense to walk out while I was up. And uh, and my favorite part of the story was I, w I opened the door. Tim's fast asleep. I just took the wad of money and I threw it in his face to wake him up because he didn't approve of the whole thing. <laughs> and he wakes up. He's like, "Oh my God, this is like this is like eight hundred dollars." And I'm like, "Dude, count it. It's a lot more than that." Yeah. And then I just walked away, got in my side of the car, slammed the door. My favorite part of the story, though, and we never tell this because it's kind of shady. Um, when we do interviews and stuff like that, but we're on the net now, so it's all good. Yeah. But uh, there was a woman that actually followed him back to the car because she saw that he had just cashed out all this money. Oh, I can't believe you're going to tell <laughs> this. Yeah. And, uh, oh. and she was decent looking, I will say, especially at that hour. And um, and so I just remember like we had this whole interlude with the money, and there was this, just this strange woman standing there. And we realized that she was you know, looking to get a piece of the action. And so she comes up to the window and she, you know, she knocks on the thing. And so I turn the car on, and I roll the window down just like a little bit. And she just kind of comes up to me and she's like, "Hey, so, you know, what are you guys gonna do with all that money?" And we're like, "Well, I don't know, you know, but we're, you know, we were so glad we had it." I was like, you know, "Well, we got some bills to pay, blah blah blah." And she was just like, "Well," <laughs> she's like, "You know, I'll make it worth your while, you know, if you if you wanna if you wanna spend some money tonight." And uh, so I just kind of looked at Eric, and we just we weren't into it. But I just love that because we we pulled away. And we're like, yeah, we won the money, we won the money, and like halfway down the highway, we're like, I wonder what she would have done for two grand. <laughs>
from the band Slash from Guns N' Roses, all the guys in the Beatles actually. I used to say George Harrison, but all of the guys in the Beatles. <laughs> Screw the Beatles, man. They made it impossible <laughs> Teach us all <laughs> yourself. No, we, we love the Beatles, that's what he was saying. You all can't even listen to the but album. But they, they perfected music in 1970. You're saying it's so good when we listen to Abbey Road in the band or something, you want to quit because you're like, we can't, we can't do that, it's perfect. Every song. Every Just, every song. I will sum up the alternate roots in one second, and this is probably shouldn't be on tape. And then you put on, um, you know, the night they drove old Dixie down, you know, by the, the band, and all of us just deflate. Like the Do you other cry? day, the other day we were driving to a gig and like we're listening to something like yeah, whatever, whatever, whatever. And then somebody put on the night they drove old Dixie down, and all of us just deflated. We're like, why'd you put that on? We have to play. Like yeah. we can't. Like ah. Oh. Oh, mm -hmm. 
this episode hope you've enjoyed the show if you'd like more information about the alternate roots and to check out their music video for the single time is a runaway you can catch them on the web at thealternateroots.com their cd good and reckless and true is available in music stores in the united states or online at the itunes music store before we go i'm going to leave you with one more tune this is certainly one of my favorites here's the track hollywood we'll catch you next time on music scene tv Yeah.